Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. <clears throat> so today, blog talk is down. So unfortunately, we will not be able to take any callers over blog talk. However, if you are watching and you want to post a question in the YouTube chat, go right ahead and post the question in the chat on YouTube. I go live every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central, typically. However, next week, um, I will be going live Monday at noon and then Wednesday at noon. And then the following Monday, I will not be having a show. I will be... Um, I will be doing the show on Tuesday. So a week from now, I'll, I'll replace that show on Tuesday and then, then it will go back to its regular schedule. I just have some travel days coming up and I'm trying to work the shows in around my travel. Okay, so I just wanna let everybody know, thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful for you. If you have a question, put it in the chat. I'll be happy to answer it. If I <clears throat> do not say your name correctly, please forgive me or your whatever your name is. Uh, please forgive me. Into the light, how are you, Terry Vaughn? How are you? Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start the way I always do. Please don't get scammed. I will never reach out to you on social media telling you you need anything. I will not do that. Hey, Erin, how are you today? Um, then I'm going to go into questions, uh, not questions. I'm going to go into um, maybe names or songs. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do today. I'm still waiting for those up there to tell me. So let's go with names. I hear names, we're supposed to do names. The first name I'm hearing is um, Johan. The next name I'm hearing is Beverly. The next name I'm hearing is Makala, M-I-C-A-L. M-I-C-A-L-A. I think it's pronounced Makala. I think that's how it's spelled also. I'm not really sure, but Makala. And then we have the name um, Lily, Justin, Bob or Bobby, uh, River, I don't know, River. Um, I'm hearing Lithuania, which I, I don't believe that's a name, but it's significant to someone. Um, and then Misty. Okay, those are the names I'm hearing, and I'm going to cut that there. And yes, I am going to get to the questions in the chat. Please be patient. I will be getting to everybody answering questions. The names could be your name, their name, or somebody that you know or love names, a pet, whatever it is. Um, the next thing we're going to do is go to um, songs. The song could be answering a question that you have. It could be um, a song your loved one loved, you loved, or whatever. If if you know the song, it's for you. It's a sign, a symbol, a confirmation your loved one is with you. So the first song I'm hearing is, I, I can't drive 55. And then the next song is Thunderstruck. And the next song, they're really coming. The songs are coming so much fa faster than the names did today. Um, Oh, I, give me a second. I, that song, I think I can't get the beat of it, but, and I'm only get getting a few words like living in New York City, something like that. Okay. If you know, you know, and yes, I destroyed that song and I apologize. Um, and then I see, um, 
men in, it wasn't men in hats. They wore those really weird hats or things on their head. Men in something. I don't know that. And they wore those really weird. I just see them. They're showing me a visual of them. Men at work. Men at work. <laughs> men at work. I think it's men at work, not men at hats. <laughs> okay, that. Whoever that's for, claim it. Um, scoop it up. Um, and then I see that, um, what's his name with those addicted to love? That's on. Ah, uh, that's on. You might as well face it. You're addicted to love. With the models behind him, they're showing me that. And then the next uh, song is... <laughs> Uh, the song uh, uh, okay um, she's got the jack I think that's I want to say that's ACDC do you guys know what that song is about do ya that song had been out a really long time probably before I was born but then for for a bit and i didn't know if one day somebody told me what that song was about what that meant the jack what the jack was yeah crazy okay and then um okay the next uh do you come from the land down under? Okay, that song. We're something in something thunder. Just do you come from the land down under? If it's for you, you know what that song is. Okay, those are the songs. I'm going to start answering questions. So if you have a question, just post it in the chat and I will be happy to get to your questions. I'm going to try to go in order. If I miss your question, please don't get upset. If I if I pass your question, it's it's not intentional please just repost your question and i will get to it so into the light how are you aaron hey how are you um aaron wants to know hey tony do you see me getting a new job or staying at my current job aaron um Is she going to get an offer for a new job? Yes, you are going to get an offer for a new job. I feel like that's going to come in in about a month to a month and a half. Now, just because you get the offer, it doesn't mean within a month to a month and a half um, if, you're, if you're out there actively seeking. Now, just because you get an offer, it doesn't mean you're going to take it. And I think you're going to, is she going to take it? Is she going to take it? They, it's not decided yet if you're going to transfer jobs. It's not a solid choice yet. Huh. Will she want to take the job? Yes. Will she want to go? No. It's, it, it's okay. It's almost like I don't know if this is the case or just the way I can describe it. There's something that keeps you where you are, but there's something that's something small that's making you want to go, but it's not enough to really make you want to go. Like, 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 let's say it's more pay, but it's not enough more pay for you to be like, yeah, I'm so excited about this job. It's kind of like a, what do I do? What do I do? But I do feel like, Erin, if you keep looking, in about four months, four or five months, I hear four very strongly and five softly, you will find something that is a definite, really good thing for you to switch to. Okay, Erin, I hope that's helpful for you. Okay, the next question is coming from Elizabeth. I was just wondering 
who my who is my spirit guide thank you okay well elizabeth we have okay just for everybody we have several spirit guides we have like a spirit a, a team we have angels guides and ascended ones that watch over us and all of them aren't there all the time but some of them have been there since our first or you know if you believe in first inception since we came in and they'll be with us until we go out so for example it's my understanding i've been told we have two angels with us at all times um other angels will come in but these two watch us from beginning to end other angels will come in and they will help us when like we're in school we're transitioning in career we're going through something very difficult in our life a breakup or a um a, a, a passing of someone we have other angels that come in that will be healing angels education angels whatever it is but for spirit team that is a different a whole different thing than the angels obviously so you have a guides not just one and um i always say this to everybody it doesn't really matter what we call them we can just say hey team rather than trying to know their name but you probably know some of their names because it's a name that you've loved or liked since you were young or you've always just like thought of that name okay so it's just and it could be like for example me i just love the name amelia if i could if i could just pick a name it would be amelia but i also like the name charlie so those <laughs> those are right okay so um what i will say for you if i ask what are one of you just one what's what's your name as a i need one of elizabeth's guides to tell me her name it's pretty i hear <laughs> i've been hearing it since i started talking jeff jeff is one of them and i know they're not all exotic charlie Okay, they're not all exotic. Um, and then if we're going to go into the second, uh, a second guide, one of your second guides names, like another guide that you would have on your spirit team, the name would be Brunzel, and I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly because of dialect, but it doesn't matter. You can just call him Bron, like I'm seeing B R O N Z E L L E. I think I, so that is, those are the two names I did receive. There are more than that. And again, you, you can confirm that yourself. And if that feels right, but remember, there are more guides than that that are with you at all times, okay? Hey, Dee, how are you? How, I hope everything is good with you, Dee. I'm going to go to the next question, which is coming from Lynn Marie. Hello, Tony. Hello, Lynn Marie. Um, I'm summer, summering, summering, <laughs> you guys. I, I'm sorry for the way I read. You guys have probably read this three times already and are like, get on with it. Um, I'm summering in Minnesota now, and I'm wondering if you see some significant person coming into my life in June. Thank you very much. And I think, thank you for all you do. You are so welcome. Lynn, June, July, June, July. Um, it might be the 4th of July weekend, like that extended weekend, you have the potential to meet someone. But what I'm hearing is you're going to meet a couple of people. One of them is going to be more significant than 
of the others. I did I did a couple TikToks today on summer loving had me a blast. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help myself. <laughs> Uh, why am I single? This, this, this whole thing right here. I choose to be. I'm ha I'm happy single. That's why I'm single. Uh, but also this. Um. Oh my lord. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um. I did the, these TikToks today on um, <laughs> summer love, and and uh, something I I really think you guys should. I I did not put them on YouTube yet. I'm going to do that uh, tomorrow because if I put too much on YouTube too fast, they don't push it out. So I can only do one in the morning and one at night. So if you are on TikTok, go check those out. But um, <clears throat> What I'm hearing for the people that are coming in, because there are going to be several of them, a couple at least, I'm hearing that you are going to need to be very discerning and don't go for the fluff, like don't go for the fluff. Um, so be, pay very, very close attention to what's uh, underneath. Um how, like uh, the character, the character of the people coming in, pay very close attention to uh, what they're not saying. I feel like one of them might be already involved with someone else, which you're going to find out quickly. And then another one, you're just going to find out it's like they're, it's kind of like they act one way, but they're really another way. Like they might, for example, this isn't an exact, they might act like they have a lot of money, but they're really just, um, it's just a, it's, it's just a show. Um, but there is one person who, if you pay attention, this person is going to stand out to you and you're going to really, uh, like this person. I do, I don't know your, your age, Lynn Marie, but I do feel like this person I don't know if it's age-wise, but they are mature. They're a more mature person. And you might at first think that that's a little bit boring, but it's really not. They just don't act a fool is the way I want to say that, Lynn. Um, Lynn I hope that's helpful for you. Okay. Um, D. I'm looking for a new career. What do you see? Thanks. Okay. Uh, can you narrow that down a little bit for me, Dee? Um, give me a couple of choices that you would want to choose between. I do see it. I know this is going to sound like such a cliche answer. I do see it having something to do with computers, copywriting, at least one thing you have the potential to do. It's almost like, I don't know if you're going to create something that needs to be copywritten. You're going to help people with their copyrights, but something needs to be copywritten. I like the copyright rights. Um, I don't know how far in your future that is. And I do feel like it is going to be, okay, so in, in your new career, I do feel like you have the potential to do something on your own. I feel like it could be something that, and I'm not saying this is going to be your next thing, but I am saying that they're saying you really need to start gearing for this. Okay. Gearing up for it. I do feel like it, whether it's like writing a book at some point, I, I know that that's probably not your next career, but it's something that you could be in alignment for or something that you create written works, written works. I just keep hearing written works. So whatever it is that you are able to, to do, to write, 
uh, make sure you're copywriting it is what I'm also getting now. I'm just going to say that might not be your next career, but they really want you to know that D they really want you to know, get your fingers tapping, tippy tap, tippy tap on those keys, D get on those keys. Um, they want you to whatever it is, or maybe you're, you're, are you a publicist? Are you supposed to be a publicist? Are you supposed to help people who are writing books or writing you know, things. You're going to know better than I do. That's what I'm getting. If I see below that you have given me some choices to choose be between, I will definitely narrow that down. Again, D, I don't know that that's your very next thing. I do know it's in your future. So get down on it. <laughs> You guys, when I do things like that, that's them coming through. <laughs> trust, trust, trust in that. Okay. Um, hey, Cora, my birthday is next week. Happy birthday. Um, does my spirit guides have any message for me? Okay, Cora, happy birthday. You know, uh, Cora, who is who is the person on the other side? I'm I'm not even going to your spirit guides because somebody stepped in. Olive skin, female, thin, had dark hair, went gray, not the dark gray, the a little bit. Maybe it is dark gray. It went gray. It seems light next to the black hair. Um, oh, man, her face is right in my face. She might have had a more pronounced nose. I always call it the Sicilian nose because it's a little bit longer, but Sicilians aren't the only one with that nose. Um, she is here. And she, Cora, she could have been, uh, again, uh, one of the signs that they give me that this particular ancestor might had either started in another country as an exotic looking beach or some kind of ocean. So I feel like uh, this ancestor either traveled to another country or um, this chair reclines and it makes a lot of noise when I move in it. I'm sorry. Uh, um, or originally her ancestral or your ancestral line is in another, started in another country. And it, it might have something to do with um, either the message is about France or she might have had something to do with French or France or something like that. Cora, I'm just going to go down. Tell me if this person makes sense to you. If you're familiar with who this person is, please. Um <clears throat> I am going to tell you, Cora, that this person, first of all, again, and happy birthday, and uh, they're singing the song, don't, don't stop believing, hold on to that feeling. So there, uh, the message that's coming through for you is to hold, uh, and then I'm seeing light, like a ball of light. So the, what's coming through for you, Cora, is to hold on to your belief and hold on to your um, faith, your strength, whatever your particular faith is, please hold on to it. Please know that they want you to. Uh, okay, Cora, I don't see you commenting, but that's okay. I think this is you. Yep. Okay. Uh, hold on to it. Don't, uh, don't. And then as I go to say that, I hear, don't let it go. Um, so hold on, just, it's it's just, that's the message for you. Um, I do feel like <clears throat> if your ancestor is not from another country, they're showing me that you're gonna be traveling. Uh, I know this sounds so cliche. I, it's, it really is what I'm, I, I just can only, put together what I see and the words that I hear. And it, to you, it's going to sound one way where 
it might make perfect sense to Cora, even if it doesn't make sense to anybody else. But the only person it has to make sense to is Cora. So what they're saying is, um, is she going to travel? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be doing some traveling. You're going to be doing, even if you don't know about this travel right now, don't worry. You're going to know about it very soon. It's coming in hot. <laughs> like that's whoever this is, they are communicating in music. Um, so please be prepared for that and say yes. Just say yes. Go enjoy. Have fun, Cora. I hope that's helpful for you. Um, I I really do. A clear view revolution. Devo, that is the name of the and whip it. The song is whip it <laughs> from the beginning. Thank you. Thank you so much, Devo. Yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Okay. Whew. Now that that's all cleared up, we can move on. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, into the light there's a maintenance man in my building from oh from lithuania okay is he trying to i don't know if that's that is <laughs> when i said lithuania at the beginning of the show that 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 is not necessarily the message they want you to know. But into the light, does this guy want to date her? Does does the Lithuanian want to date? Um, no, but he is a little. Um, I, as soon as I, as soon as I look at it, I get this like awkwardness. This like don't know what to say or awkwardness sort of thing going on but it's 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 not a I don't feel like it's a dating thing it's not that and let me say this too it's not that this person this person probably finds you attractive but excuse me everybody but I think this person might just be be a little bit what would be you know in in his if he was in lithuania he'd be just fine but here he feels awkward or something i don't know that's that's what i'm getting with that <laughs> into the light thank you okay aaron says um that makes sense should i move from acute acute long tree I don't understand half of those words, Erin, um, but I, is it from term care jobs? Okay, it's a two-part question. Should she move from one to the other? You could if you want to, but it's not advisable at this time. Wait until the best possible offer comes in. Now, if something's going on where you're at that is completely unbearable, like with one of your team members or coworkers, then yes, do it. But at this point, hold out as long as you can because um, Aaron, I think they told you in, in four or five months, something's coming in for you. Um, I hope that was your message. Um, okay, Elizabeth is saying, hey, Tony, when my friend gets back from his deployment, will we reconnect and date? Sookie, sookie. Um, I think I need like sound effects so I don't awkwardly <laughs> make them. But that's what I'm hearing. Like when I read that right after that, I heard sookie, sookie. So, and I don't know. Do you guys really want to know everything I hear? <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry. Okay. Um, um, Lynn, 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 Lynn. Uh, when he comes back, are they going to be dating? Are they going to hook? Okay. Uh, okay. So Lynn, depending on what you, 
uh, not Lynn, where did you go? Where I lost you. I think I lost whoever was asking that question. Oh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, when you're, uh, let me put it up there just so that I don't lose it again. Um, I feel like there's the opportunity for something very short term is the most polite way I can put that not something more long term. I feel like he's going to be in and out in more ways than one. I am being serious. I am trying to be so serious. It's they're just funny tonight or they think they are. Um I feel like okay. Even though he's coming back from deployment, I feel like he might not be sticking around very long. So um, whatever you do while he's back, e even if he's not going back in, I think he might be going someplace else. He's just not a person that stays glued to, like in, he's just a person like, give me the action, get, show me the, like, Give me the action. I don't, I've been here too long. I have like ants in the pants. I need to get out of here now. It makes in his head, um, this person who's off right now coming back, he's deployed right now. Thank you. I feel like he loves the, he's like a thrill. He likes, he likes the ad adrenaline of it. And he, he doesn't do good in, like uh, sedentary or um, uh, if, if everything stays the same for too long, he gets really antsy. He needs to change. He needs to go. He needs to do. So I hope that that helps you, Elizabeth. So it, when he does, when this person gets back, um, there will be change again or going again or change again, whether it's being deployed again or um, just going and doing again something else. That is part of what what he needs. And you are welcome, Elizabeth. There's two separate Elizabeths, everybody. There's two separate Elizabeths asking questions. You're welcome, Elizabeth M. Um, Okay, Lynn Marie, she's, okay, let's see. Oh, D does work. Okay, so I was answering a question for D and D does work with computers and information technology. Okay, so D, if you come up again, um, I as soon as I tap in again, I hear publicist. Now this could mean one of two things. It could mean that eventually you need one or you work with one or something and trademarking and i do feel like something you're going to come up with is going to need either you're going to be working with people who need trademarking or you do right now or you're going to do something that needs to be trademarked D, did you ask if you were going to change companies or careers? I think you said careers. I agree, but for right now, I want to continue working in IT for right now. Okay. Um, so she agrees eventually she will be in that ro role of like possibly doing what we said earlier. D, You have a very strong probability of changing companies. And um, I hear the word contract. And this, and again, this is going to make sense to you. And it might not make sense now, but when it comes in, it will make sense. Um, and I hear foreign, so it might be with a company that either you're not familiar with, it's foreign to you, or it's with a company that is um, in a foreign area, like not, not here, or their, their headquarters could be in a foreign country. 
So that that's what I'm getting right now. But it, it but that that's going to come in in a couple of uh, possibly a couple of months. I'm hearing two two months. But keep 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 your eyes open. Keep your eyes keep your eyes open and keep looking. I do feel like you find this on a board, you know, like on a, um, where is she going to find that? Where is D going to find this position? I just hear home, like a home, possibly a home page or does she find it on a company website? Yeah, you're going to find it on a company website, D, on a company website, not on like a job search website. You're going to find it on a company website. And I do feel like there is going to be a lot of growth in that position for you. Okay, D, I hope that that was very, very, very helpful. Cora. I'm traveling to my old home in Pennsylvania next week. Well, have fun. Have have a travel safe. Have fun. Um, not sure about the AP. I don't know what AP is, Cora. I'm not sure what AP is. Am I reading that correctly? I think so. Okay, you guys, when I'm channeling, when I'm going in and getting answers, like two seconds later, I will forget it. Um, I always compare it to a computer. It's not for me. So it typically does not stay in my brain. Like it, it's not being put in my memory. It's just going through me for you. So if I say something and two seconds later, I don't remember, I'm, I apologize, but that's just how, how it works for me. Um, and sometimes even I'll be channeling and the stuff is effing phenomenal. And I wish I had a recorder going because I know as soon as it comes out of my mouth, I'm not going to remember it. And then they keep going. So I'm really not going to remember it. Um, so yeah, so, so, so thank you. Um, I'm not sure about. No, 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 no. I didn't say a Sicilian ancestor. I said they a, a, a more pronounced nose like a Sicilian nose. Uh, so I hope that clears that part up. Okay, uh, you're welcome into the light. You're so welcome. Uh, your mother recent. Okay, so Cora says her mother recently transitioned. So I'm traveling next week to clean up stuff that used to belong to her and I. Oh, sweetie, I'm so I'm so sorry that you lost your mom. It's one of the. I think losing for most people losing our mom is one of the most challenging things we go through, no matter what the relationship was either because it didn't get fixed, closure, or because we just know we just lost somebody very significant in our life. Um, so I'm so sorry for that. Um, maybe, I don't I don't know, Cora, the person that came through was a little bit older and, and thinner. Like, you know how when people mature, they get thinner, they lose that muscle mass and they start to, to get thinner. Um, but at one point this person had, they, they still here, right here. Can you see her? Um, very dark hair, maybe not all the time because, you know, we color our hair, um, but very dark hair and, um, and olive skin or tan. Let me say tan. Maybe they just, tanned and it is a female so it could be a mother a grandmother a great grandmother i i'm i'm not um i'm not sure but i know this person is here with like the biggest smile on their face and they had not a, like a, a wide nose or a short nose but a, their nose 
her nose was just a little bit longer. So that's the best description I can give. I hope that that makes sense to you, Cora. I really do. Please travel safely. It is good weather, at least right now, to travel. Um, and I'm, I'm hearing, be careful not to throw out something important. If you're not sure if it has value, put it aside and check. Okay? That's what I'm getting for you. Okay. Um, okay, D, you are welcome. Okay, I'm going to go to, oh, Grandma Kitty. Hello. It's been a minute since I've seen you on here. Um, hey, beautiful soul. Thank you so much. Um, if possible, can you see if my mom has anything to advise me on? Thank you so much. Um, okay, so can you please, Gr Grandma Kitty, can you please tell me your mom's first name? Just her first name would be so perfect. Um, just so I can, just, it, it, it really does help me to like say so-and-so, but like just use their name and say, where are you in, you know? Um, Doris. Okay, Doris, where are you? Yep, yep, she's here. Okay, the first thing Doris would want to say to you. Okay, um, I don't know if it's Don't Let the Sun or Don't Let the Moon Catch You Crying, that song, but that's the first thing. That's the first thing that came through. And there's just this, I'm going to explain the feeling that's coming with this. It's just this overwhelming feeling of emotion and i know it's love but it's so much it's like so much love it would make you cry grandma kitty um it's just this so much heart coming through okay um the second thing is um the song you don't you you don't always get what you want but you get what you need and then she right away goes into when we are here on this plane the physical the physical plane and this is going to be so helpful for everybody oh my god i love this message it, incoming oh, oh it's so good it's so good you guys pay attention here before we come in, we, you know, there's this book, if you believe in past, present lives, all of our lives are in this book. Um, and before we come in, we agree to have certain experiences. I don't like to call them lessons because that infers difficulty and punishment. Um, but I do love the word experiences. And then we can decide, did I like that experience? Did I not like that experience? And when we use the word experience over lesson, like it's just a better word all the way around because it is true. We do come here to have experiences that we can't have on higher planes um, because we're we're just light. We're just a soul. We're just light. <laughs> um, so we come in and we we completely forget. It's like men in black when they wash your memory and then there you are going, oh, what am I supposed to do with this life? And people are telling you what to do. And we think our life is going to go one way and then it ends up going another way. And what she is saying is it never went wrong. It never went wrong. So far, everything you've experienced, you experienced it on purpose, with purpose and intention as planned. And there is no pass or fail. There is no getting it right or getting it wrong. There's 
just the experience and deciding if you want to repeat that experience or you want to move on to a new experience. So how does it look when we repeat that experience? If we've had in our family growing up or in our life growing up, people who had addictions or anger or whatever, and then we get out and we have a person, a partner or friends that have addiction or have um, anger, whatever it is we experienced in childhood, we can decide, okay, I'm done with this. I'm not, it, I see that you have this. And we either go into a fight with them or flight from them or freeze and let them be who they are and have the backlash of their, their things. None of those choices are wrong. It's just the idea of what you chose to have that experience. And then at some point we say, you know what, I'm not, I don't care how much I think I love that person, how digmatized I am, how cute they are, how pretty they are. I'm not going through that again. I'm done with that experience. I'm going to go to this experience now. And I, I'm just going to say this. There are several ways to learn about money. One is through poverty and one is through wealth. Pick a lane. Pick a lane and tell them that's how you want to learn about money. People forget we have choice. Just say universe. Let me learn about money through prosperity, through wealth through abundance. I, I've learned everything I can from, from lack. Now let me learn everything I can from abundance. Okay. So that, that is pick a freaking lane and, and go with it. And the same thing goes for relationships. If all of your friends have a theme, if your partners have a theme, Say, okay, I'm, I'm done learning it this way. We can learn about love from a lack of love and we can learn about love from somebody who knows how to love. We personally have to make that choice and say, okay, I'm done learning about love from uh, this, this way. I'm done learning about, you know, being being the person for the these people. I'm Now I want to learn this. And you just go and you have those experiences and don't you know I it's easy to say learn but the truth is I want to have these experiences I want to have the experiences of the of, of somebody who's this wealthy or very wealthy or this type of loving relationship or I want to have these experiences now let me explain once you make that choice people will fall out of your life mm -hmm. they will because you can't have this and keep this some, sometimes, sometimes. Um, so that, okay, so going back to what else your, your mom wants to say to you. Oh, okay. Um, everything that came in and you experienced, you've, um, you've graduated and the experiences have been monumental. And now pick another book, put all those books away, make a title of a book and start writing it and let that be how you want to spend your time here. The experiences you want to have here. Forget the other books, erase the experiences that you don't like from your mind. Don't even go back to thinking about them. You know, when we were um, uh, babies and our teeth were growing in, we never go back to that, like the, the pain of teething. Um, so just like that, it's such an odd analogy she's having me use, but I love it, love it. Um, we don't have to even think about these things because when you think about something, you have the energy or the frequency of that and it puts your heart, your heart is your frequency meter, right? Your memory 
uh, or your mind is your guide. You can think about the past. You can think about the future. And, but your heart is your like your freak. The way they're explaining it is your frequency meter. So if you're thinking about something in the past and you feel that in your heart, you instantly dropped your frequency or you can instantly raise your frequency. And they're saying, don't even think about those things. You don't you owe yourself better. You owe yourself better than to sulk, sulkin, be sulkin, sulking, sulking. How do you guys, how do we say that word? Sulk, sulking, sulking, like, oh, poor me, that word, sulking. Oh, it's so sad. It's only sad if that's the way you think it is. It's a, we had an experience. Excellent. It, it's it, in one of my books, I think it's What If, um, I write, they, I channeled and I wrote like, you know, in this world is like an amusement park. Sulk, sulking. Okay, thank you. Um, you get to go to the amusement park and there is every ride you could imagine. Some of them you can look at and say, <laughs> no, thank you. No, I'm not riding that ride. Others, you'll say, okay, I think I can handle that one. And you get on. You had an experience. Either you had a great deal of fun or it, it, it turned you topsy-turvy. But you get off and you say, okay, I'm not riding that ride again. Or I am riding that ride again. But it's up to you. It's, it's just like that. So in this next book, Grandma Kitty, in this next book, only let in your mind what makes your heart climb. Only let in your mind what makes your heart climb. And, you know, it is so true that we create the life we have from what, yes, what we're thinking, but what we're putting out there, what we believe is going to happen, what we believe is going to come in. What we believe is our belief system. So we can say, we can manifest and say, I, I'm going to win the lottery. I'm going to win the lottery. I'm going to win the lot. But if you don't believe that, it's it's not going to happen because there there's that part of you that will not believe that that could or whatever come to you. But we believe we could repeat the past. Very rarely do we have new experiences with new people because our mind is writing the past story all over again. So we have to get into a place where we're literally, if we have to, I'm, I'm here, if we have to get a pen and a paper and write out exactly how we want it to go and read it every day until it becomes embedded in us. And, and that is what we are going for. And she loves you. And okay. And I'm going to let that one go now. Okay. That's where we are. I love her. I love her message for you and everybody. I love it so much. Thank you so much. Um, Grandma Kitty, I hope that was helpful. I really do hope that was helpful. I'm going to try to go to get a couple more people in before. Uh, did I miss anybody? I don't think so. I'm going to try to get a couple more people in if there are more people. Blessed one. Um, can I ask for a read? Absolutely, blessed one. I think you're a little further down with your question. Here it is. Um, can I ask where am I getting all of these heaviness from? I need guidance on uh, what's going on in my situation. Okay, blessed one. I'm going to start a clearing, please. For you, everybody listening, watching, um, all this heaviness has cleared. Let's clear it. There's some stopping and blocking. Okay, pull it all out. All that caused it, all that kept it. Oh, I feel it. I feel like there's like right here so much weight. Um, clear this now. Okay, take all of that. For you, everybody who is listening, watching anything, if you are feeling this, please let me know. I do feel it coming up from here. And it's an, I'm hearing it's an accumulation of things. It's not just something that came in one day. Plus with everything with where the stars and everything else in, it is kind of taking us all on a crazy little whirl right now. 
clear all the heaviness, all the sadness, all the sorrow for everybody. Um, whew. You know, I do feel like uh, he's, this one is clear. Clear. Okay, the home is clear. The home is unclear. Okay, um, I do feel like there are significant changes coming in. And if we do have to go and look back at something or feel something, say, okay, I I get this, take it now. But but I'm done. I'm done here. Take this. And so we're gonna keep clearing that because I can still kind of feel it just like it's worked its way up to the top and it's about to pull. So um, hopefully, hopefully you guys can feel that too. And it's going. <sighs> okay, I want to do one more um, clearing because uh, I just do. And the next clearing for everyone is unconditional self-love. We unconditionally love ourselves. We're going to clear that to a yes. Anything stopping or blocking it, all that caused and kept this. We're going to clear, heal, release that, pulling it all out. And then I'm going to do the next one, which is we unconditionally accept ourselves. Um, we unconditionally accept everything about ourselves. And I'm getting a no, so we're going to heal, clear, release that, all that caused, kept it, everything that this comes with. So you guys, I hope you feel that. I hope it is um, good for you. I hope, and you can come back and listen to this and take off. For some people, it all goes at once. For others, it goes out in little layers. And um, so so save this, pin it, and... Um, and allow it to work on you. And when something new happens, you might need to come and take it out also again. So if all of it's not gone now, it should be, you know, after you listen to this once or twice. Now, when things go, it can go right away, but you may not notice a change in yourself for a day, a week, or, oh, thank you. Oh, you felt it. Okay. A blessed one said, I felt it. Thank you so much for letting me know. You and Grandma Kitty, thank you so much. Um, but you'll notice changes as you move on in your life, as your programs change. And I'm going to do this one real quick too. I have just a couple minutes. We have a healthy subconscious mind. And I get a no, we're going to clear that to a yes, all that caused and kept this, all the unhealthiness is clear. Now we're going to pull that out <laughs> pulling it out now the subconscious part of the mind is really what rules us on our day to day so we really want that to be healthy so come back and just keep letting it pull all of this out for you guys okay keep taking and taking and taking and taking and taking it and before you know it you'll be just waking up happy which it's you know it can be a little bit difficult to do that sometimes, but once some of this stuff goes, it it really does happen and you will feel a huge, huge difference in that. So you guys remember next week, my show times are going to be a little bit different. So please pay attention to the show times and come and join me. Otherwise, I love you guys so very much. Have an absolutely amazing rest of the night. And until next time, go make miracles in your life.